Let's just be honest here. So much of spring is gray and dreary. So let's make it look awesome. In this video, I'll share a few tips on how to do that. I'm going to show you how to photograph in fog, capture great time lapses of a storm rolling in, and how to shoot in the rain. The gear I'll be using is an iPhone 8 with a broken screen protector, a GoPro Hero 5, and a Canon DSLR. Let's do this. When you wake up and you see fog, get out and start shooting, because this is an awesome time to get really moody, dramatic photos. If you're able to find a little bit of color in these frames especially, that's really gonna pop. Focusing on subjects that are further away will allow you to have more haze, more fog, more atmosphere in your photos. I really like this old farm equipment here with the yellow flowers and the foggy background. This is, this is a great weather photo. As the morning rolls on, this fog is only getting heavier. This road just kind of curves and then shoots straight down here. It's like something from a movie. I'm all about being efficient and we've got this like great storm system rolling in right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up two time lapses, one with a phone and one with this older GoPro. And while that's happening, I'm gonna run around and take some still photos. When you're doing a time lapse, it's, it's super crucial to have something in the foreground. You wanna give it some perspective. So there's this old church here that I think is gonna be, gonna be great for the story we're trying to tell. It's recording, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna put my phone down here and get a low angle shot of the church, which is gonna look awesome with that sky rolling in. This is super handy. It costs like five bucks and it's a mount, it's a holder for the phones. Turn your phone, put it on airplane mode. So that's gonna help your, help your battery. Excuse me while I lie here like a beach whale. Every camera is a little bit different. If you, on a lot of them, if you hold, tap and hold the image, that's gonna lock your exposure. So because we have uh, a whole bunch of changes in light and all that stuff, I don't want it messing with the exposure. I want it to be consistent throughout. I'm gonna press record in a minute and I'm gonna get out of here and take some stills. Awesome. If you're shooting weather and you have the option, Get a nice wide lens on, like a 24 or something like that, because you really want to try to get, get the horizon and things in the foreground and just, just tell that whole story. Look at that crazy sky. When the rain starts falling, get your rain gear on and start shooting. Rain is great for making a good photo even better. It can also make a kind of okay photo awesome. When you're shooting in the rain, try to shoot against a darker background. This is going to help those raindrops show up. Conditions change so fast in the rain, constantly be looking around for that new or unique scenario. And when the rain has stopped and you've dried off, that doesn't mean your weather photos are done. The rain has left like these great raindrops on this on this grass here. So I'm gonna see if I can get the grass in the foreground, have the tree line and that kind of dramatic sky. This is a lot easier to get on a phone than it is on the on a big DSLR because you could really bring the phone down, down nice and low, and double check to make sure my fingers aren't in the shots. They're turning out really nice. Get that sky there. quite happy with that. 